on guys today I want to tell you the worst day ever so let's get into this so we matched on a dating app of course four or five years ago we matched and he told me that he uh, that he uh, oh yeah he wanted to go to the beach for a first date first date like I've never met you before and you want to go to the beach I thought that was a little bit weird, but I love the beach, so I was like, okay, why not? I would never do this again. I would never go to the beach on a first date, okay? I'm gonna have to keep your imagination uh, alive <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> so we met, and then he was like, oh, let's have breakfast first. I thought we were go going to the beach, like, that's what he said. He didn't say anything about breakfast or anything. Yes, and it was really early in the morning. Yep, yep. <sighs> Yeah, that's weird weird date why did I do that anyway so I said okay I thought okay that's nice we sat down we had some food while we we're on a date he got a call phone call and he was like excuse me it's, it's work <laughs> he was like laughing and talking and I was like really that's that's work Hmm, I didn't say anything, but that's what I was thinking. Anyway, whatever. So it's like, okay, I'll get you a little bit, talk to you later. <laughs> bye bye. Sorry, that was work. It's okay, fine, sure. We talked a little bit, and then the, the bill. So the bill came in, and he looked at the bill, and he was like, You're gonna pay half, right? What? What? That's the first time I ever, ever hear anybody in my life telling me that I have to pay half. I was like, eh. Sure. I go through my bag and I thought that I forgot my wallet. It's like, oh, I was going to the beach. Sometimes I wouldn't take, I don't take money to the beach, you know. But I did find my wallet. I was like, okay, good thing I found my wallet. Usually, I would fight and I'd be like, oh no no, let me. And he'd be like, oh no, come on, I'll do it. And I'm like, no 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 no. And he'd be like, no 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 no. I got you. But no, that didn't happen. The way he said it, like, I feel scared. I feel scared. But anyway, good thing I did have my money and I was like, yeah, sure. And I paid. And then he looked at the bill and it said that water's like, it was like five dirhams. The way it was a little bit expensive for water. But usually if I go to a restaurant, I just pay. I never argue because they have a menu and they have the prices on there you went to this restaurant you you have to pay the consequences <laughs> but no he didn't want to do that he wanted to argue he wanted to fight and he was like i was like oh no 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 he's gonna make a scene so i have to act very quickly and i just said it's okay it's okay i will pay and i pay for the water we got up and I'm like, oh my god, thank god we're done with this drama to see. <laughs> and we kept walking to the beach. And he started asking me about where I live, like the rent and how much is it for. And at the time, my parents were taking care of that. I was a student, I wasn't working. And he thought, in his mind, he just had this idea that, oh, she's a spoiled girl. But you have no idea. Some people can live in the most beautiful, big houses, but you don't know what go goes on inside. Doesn't mean that they're not suffering in other areas in their life. You don't know. You can't just judge. I didn't feel comfortable. I already started to not like him too much. We went to the beach and we just talked a little bit. He noticed something. My toes. I had nail polish on them. I put some cute pink nail polish on my toes. So he noticed that it wasn't perfect. <laughs> it's just, you know how sometimes when you put nail polish and then it gets on the skin right here, right next to your nail. Sometimes I'm in a hurry, I don't have time to remove it from my skin. And it was there and he saw that and he was like, you got nail polish on your skin. Ha ha ha. And I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just in a hurry. I didn't have time to fix this. And he was like, 
Oh, so you did it by yourself? Yes, I can. That's good. At least you did something by yourself. What? What do you mean? I didn't say anything. I didn't. I just like ignored it, like I didn't hear it. But inside, I was like, "What do you mean?" I listen. I that's that's the moment when I realized that he thinks that I'm a spoiled rich girl that I don't do anything by myself that everyone else does everything for me. Anyway, whatever. And I just told him that I wanted to go home, so he was like, "Okay, let's go." And I was like, "But I live very close by, so I don't need to. I don't need a ride. Thank you." He was like, "Come on, come on. I'll just take you." And I was like, oh, "Okay." I get in the car, and just as soon as he reverse he put the car in reverse and he goes that he hit something i don't know what he would do and he was like oh no and he got out of the car and he went and looked and i just hear him swearing and yelling while i was inside the car and i was like oh my god what's happening <laughs> and he was just swearing non-stop and I was like, oh my god, that's it, that's it. I want to go home. I just want to go home. That was it for me. That was it. That was like, I want to run away right now. I mean, he was so angry because he ruined his car. I guess he was having troubles with money at that time. And that's why everything was making him angry. Like first the water and then and making fun of me and now his car is like ruined and he's got to fix it and pay a lot of money to fix it and it was like a it was it was i can't remember what car it was i, I never pay attention to cars but i do remember that it was a nice car it was all kind of like a sport car i think and so yeah i understand the frustration but you're on a date do you really want to do this right now <laughs> You got this lady in your car. Do you really want to act crazy in front of me? I went back home. And I was like, okay, thank you. Bye. I went home and he keeps calling me. I told him, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not interested. I don't feel that spark. I just feel like we're too different. But I'm sure you'll find someone. And he kept calling me and calling me and calling me. And he just wouldn't stop. And I was like, oh my God, what did I do? <laughs> now I got myself a clingy guy he did eventually stop <laughs> thank god a few years later I saw on Facebook that he found a girlfriend and she's a singer they're happy together they look happy in their pictures which I'm so glad that I don't have a creepy guy clinging on me right now I'm so glad <laughs> he looks happy too maybe he found a solution to his anger and maybe you know worked on himself so that's the story i hope you learned something about me that i was a really naive girl but i'm a very wise girl now okay don't mess with me <laughs> you can try you can try i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope to see you in the next one so don't forget to like and subscribe and you can join my patreon if you like links in the description and yeah i love you <laughs> bye there's no one like you makes my heart be fine.